The palace hit back at Senator Sonny Trillanes, who hinted that President Duterte may have visited Hong Kong to undergo a medical checkup. Presidential spokesman Sal Panelo again reiterated that Duterte went to Hong Kong to celebrate the birthday of his partner, Hanilet Avancena. Panelo explained that the presidential family chose Hong Kong because it's near the Philippines, so they can come home immediately. He further added that if the chief executive indeed went for a checkup, it would have been difficult to hide it from the public. Manaman, he refers to himself every time he goes out of the country. Yun. <laughs> Nagpunta siya ron kasi yun ang pakiusap ng kanyang anak na maging parang blowout sa kanya. And it was the birthday of uh, Miss Hanalit of Ansenia. It was a rest and recreation and a celebration. Sir, Ito lang ang presidente birin-birin magpahinga. President Duterte is urging Congress to come up with another tax amnesty law that will essentially lift bank secrecy for cases involving fraudulent transactions. This comes after the president vetoed a provision of the tax amnesty law, which would have granted general tax amnesty for citizens who failed to pay taxes for 2017 and prior years. In his words, the president says this provision was, quote, over generous and unregulated and may create an environment ripe for future tax evasion. Sinama niya yon kasi nga, because of the confidentiality, hindi mo malalaman. Kung totoo, hindi. Pero kung ililip mo nga naman yan, hindi ka na makapagsinungaling kasi madaling tingnan yung deposits mo sa banko. And the Tourism Department launches a refreshed version of the It's More Fun in the Philippines campaign, this time centered at sustainable tourism. Tourism Chief Bernadette Romulo Puyat says this campaign would be 100% crowds crowdsourced from local and foreign social media users sharing their travel experiences in the country. The DOT also launched a new custom-made and Pinoy-inspired tourism fund called Barabara. Bara. The department will donate 10 US dollars to the Worldwide Fund for Nature for every photo or video that will be contributed to the campaign. Bye-bye.